want to follow. So, I'm Dylan Porter. I am a resident of Bynum. I'm a parent. Can y'all hear me? I feel like over here. Yes. There we go. I'm a parent of a 17 year old at Northwood High School and a 2021 Chatham County graduate who's now at North Carolina State University. First, I want to thank all the teachers, staff, the board for getting my children through school. And um, they're successful, and I appreciate, especially the teachers and staff, these past few years have been incredible. So, I am actually coming to support the diversity, equity, and inclusion training that you, the school board has asked faculty and staff to complete. And while I don't speak for all parents, I do speak for a lot. And some of them are with me tonight, who are not only in support of, but expected. And it sounds like from a lot of the speakers we heard a little bit earlier, that that diversity, equity, and inclusion training should also include, consider religious inclusion. But that said, I want to share about why I'm grateful for the board and that I have an ask. And this is my time for yeah. According to ProPublica Miseducation Database, Chatham County black students operated at a 2.7 grade levels behind white students in 2018. New numbers are available for the Department of Education as a result of COVID, I'm sure this is different. Also, the Southern Coalition for Racial Justice's Racial Equity Report Card found that 51 students in Chatham County are non-Hispanic white, yet 89% of the teachers are non-Hispanic white. And our same study revealed the low-income black students in North Carolina who had at least one black teacher in elementary school were significantly more likely to graduate high school and consider attending college. It's been a while since I've pledged the allegiance. I don't work in the school system, but tonight it struck, what struck me is with the liberty and justice for all is how it ended. And the justice before all is what's important there. And I understand we're all on our personal journey and that we live in a time where it's been like the past 400 years where there's a lot, there's a lot of tensions that continue in the U.S. And I'm sure, I feel confident, most teachers, parents, everyone here, staff, faculty, feel like we are trying to give all of our kids a basic education. But wait, there are unconscious biases. Until I went through a racial equity training five years ago, I wasn't aware of what was happening. And, that, and it was so enlightening to me. And as a parent, is that my deadline? <laughs> Thank you. I asked the board to continue with addressing some of these issues and beyond the training to look at how are we truly going to close these disparities between black, white children, not on the shoulders of just the teachers. These are systemic problems. This isn't just the teachers' problems. And I thank you, and I'll submit the rest of my comments via email. Thank you.